everybody. Um, this is going to be essentially uh, the closest thing I can do in my lack of experience. Um, this is a self-tan video. Um, as a person who is super, super pale. Um, not porcelain, but pale. Um, self-tan is a dangerous world. Um, last time I used self-tanner was like 2012. It is 2023. <laughs> um, but color development has come a long way. Um, as far as the fear of being orange, um, I currently no longer have that fear because I found some products that work for me, uh, which was awesome and exciting. First thing I am going to mention are products that I don't necessarily recommend. Um, everybody seems to love the Jergens Natural Glow uh, Gradual Tan. I fucking hate this shit. It's orange and streaky and unpleasant. Um, it makes your skin very soft. I'll give Jergens credit where it's due. They, um, you know, softness, definitely. Sorry, my hair is weird today. Um, softness, definitely. Color, no. Streakiness, it's horrible. So don't recommend the Jergens one. Uh, I'm sure some people will recommend it for pale people because, I don't know, it works for some people, doesn't work for me. Next, as far as gradual tan, the Saint Tropez Everyday Body Lotion Light Medium. This, the color is way better than the Jergens color, but I will say the streakiness is also just, it shows up, you know, when it's there, it's there. Um, I like the, again, I like the color that Saint Tropez provides uh, with their gradual tan, but streaky streakiness is unavoidable. Um, I don't necessarily love this. This is better if you already have a tan and you're just trying to maintain it. I feel like that would work a little better than just putting this straight to pale skin. Um, because like I said, the streaks are just un unavoidable. So I would say use this if you already have a tan and you're just trying to upkeep it. Um, that might work a little better if you already have a color. Um, or even if your skin is a little darker, maybe you're a medium already and you're just trying to get more of a glow, uh, this might work for you in that aspect as well. Um, just as far as putting it straight onto pale skin, streak, 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 be careful. Um, so now on to stuff I do recommend. So first step as far as self tan is shaving, shaving and exfoliating. So. I'm going to shout out the brand Tree Hut because their moisturizing shave oils, um, they're all amazing smelling. The Tropic Glow is my favorite. This is what I use pretty much every day. This stuff is no joke. Like your skin feels amazing. Your skin smells amazing. No bumps, no cuts, no nothing. Um, this stuff is perfect for a close, clean shave. Um, this stuff rocks. It's just, it's, again, it smells really good. Your skin is super soft because it's an oil. Um, I'm really sorry. I really don't know what my hair is doing. So <laughs> anyway, um, you know, because it's a shave oil instead of a cream, it just takes way better care of your skin. I feel, um, it's performance wise. It's just hard to touch, you know, even using like a natural oil, like there's just something special about the Tree Hut Shave Oils that I just really appreciate. So that is my first favorite as far as that goes. Um, also from Tree Hut would be their Sugar Scrubs. Um, I have this Tropic Glow one here. The one in my shower is actually the Vitamin C one. Um, I use that right now. This is just a backup because I like the Tropic Glow smell a lot. But as far as exfoliation, oh, that smells so good. It smells like summer. Um, but as far as exfoliation, just nothing, it's just a good scrub. You know, you got to get your dry spots, your elbows, your knees, you know, when you exfoliate, you kind of have to go hard. I pretty much exfoliate my whole body, um, just because this stuff isn't very harsh. So I'll just go to town on like everything, um, everything except your face, obviously, cause this is way too, um, abrasive for your face. Um, but yeah, as far as shaving and body, 
um, Tree Hut, the shave oils and the sha and the sugar scrubs. I keep saying shea scrub. Um, but yeah, these two, um, and it doesn't even have to be specifically the Tropic Glow. Like I said, all the scents smell awesome. They all perform the same way. I'm just, Tropic Glow is just what I prefer because it, to me, it smells like summertime. Um, but like I said, I have the vitamin C one as well. So Tree Hut, Tree Hut is where it's at. Um, as far as the prep part of, um, self tanning, I highly recommend the Tree Hut stuff. For moisturizing, um, I've talked about my face moisturizer a million times on this channel, the CosRx Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Um, I just feel that it works best for my skin. Um, typically, I use a face oil, but with self-tan, you're not supposed to mix with an oil because the oil is what takes the color off. So be mindful of that if you use a face oil, just... Um, you know, I, I shout out the moisturizer for a specific reason, which I will get into in a minute. Um, but this is what I use for my face and for my body. Um, I am diabetic, so my dry skin be wild sometimes. Um, so I use La Roche Posay. Uh, this is the Lip Car Bomb uh, body moisturizer. It is for body and face. It's just meant to be for dry skin, um, extra dry skin, eczema, diabetes. You know, skin, you're, if you have dry skin, it is what it is. So I definitely recommend La roche for that. This stuff is super thick. I've had this for like a really long time and I have this much left. So I've had this for less than a year, but I still have half the bottle, which is crazy to me because like I use this almost every day. So um, you're definitely getting your money's worth with the size at least. Um, but I bring these up. Not just for the purpose of moisturizing uh, before you self-tan, but also the first product that I'm going to shout out. Um, so for my fake tanner, I have chosen the brand St. Marie's. Um, I think that's how you say it. St. Marie's, St. Morris, uh, whatever. <laughs> but these are the tan boosting face drops. Now, they are meant for your face. Um, but you just do like four to six drops in your moisturizer, you know, do it evenly. Um, be wary of dry patches on your face. Uh, but I mix these, um, and even just if you're not ready to commit to a mousse or a lotion, you could always take these tan boosting drops and put a couple drops in what you're going to put on your body. That's the cool thing about tanning drops is that they are for face and body and they're not, because they're meant for the face, they're not as drastic as like a mousse would be. Um, but as far as color, I really do enjoy the uh, St. Marie's because moving on to what I use for my body, I use the original tanning mousse in medium. I say the original tanning mousse because they actually have quite a few different formulas, which I think is cool because, you know, not everyone's skin is the same. So for me, this original formula, um, aloe vera, vitamin E, uh, soothes and moisturizes skin and it has a wash off guide color. Um, this mousse is totally awesome. Um, it goes on a little darker so you could actually see like where your missing patches or where you need to kind of rub it in a little better. Like I really like this formula. Um, it goes on, it almost just looks like your skin is wet. If that makes sense with like a little bit of color, like you can see what you're doing as you're doing it, which is really important because you don't want to catch a spot you missed like last minute. Um, this, uh, this tan takes four to six hours to develop. To be honest, because of the, uh, shade that this became, like the guide color, I actually slept in my, uh, guide color just to really make sure it, like, settled in. Um, and even though I did that, like, even on camera, like, I'm not super dark, I'm not patchy, like, I just wanted the most the color could provide for me. So I decided to sleep in the guide color. Um, 
but you know, it, it washed right off. It showered right off. Um, my skin looks great. I don't have any, um, streaks, streaks. I don't have any patches. Um, this stuff just like is totally unreal as far as color. It's perfect. Um, as long as you're very careful and you pay attention to what you're doing, this brand is great. This is, um, I got the, uh, face drops, the tanning mousse and a tanning mint. Um, I got these three items in a set. The set itself was $30. Um, I'm pretty sure the face drops alone are $20 and this is probably another $20. And then this is normally like 10. So you're getting like $50 worth of stuff for 30. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I definitely recommend getting that set. Um, because as far as color goes, St. Maurice is pretty awesome. Um, you know, especially compared to more like mainstream brands like St. Tropez and Bondi Sands. Like I just decided to give this particular brand a try first and I'm glad I did because this, uh, this color works really well for me. Um, and even though it is medium, it's not super dark. Like I said, if you pay attention to what you're doing, take your time when you're putting the mousse on, it works out really well. Um, I am extremely pleased with it. Um, highly recommend it. Um, especially over like, you know, the only St. Tropez thing I have is this gradual tan lotion. And like I said, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Cause like, mm. but shockingly enough, like this. Uh, the mousse and the tanning drops like these definitely exceeded my expectations. So that's why I recommend this brand in particular because it's what I've used on myself and I think the color is beautiful. I think the development time is appropriate. I think that the guide color is super helpful. Um, you know, I just, I don't look patchy. I don't look crazy. It's a really nice tan. Um, the face drops are not as strong, which is really helpful so that you know, like what you're building up as you build it up. And even if you're just trying to maintain a tan and this doesn't work for you, like just taking some drops and putting them in your regular body moisturizer, like it'll do the trick. Just like I said, take your time, pay attention to what you're doing. It's super helpful. Um, so yeah, St. Marie's, that's my personal recommendation for self-tanning, uh, this year. Um, if you are pale like I am, um, last thing I'm going to mention, this sounds weird, but self-tanning, whether you're in the shower shaving or you're in the shower washing off your guide color, you're spending a lot of time in the shower. So what I like to do, um, while I'm either shaving or tanning, um, do a hair mask. I recently bleached the fuck out of my hair and a couple days ago it was kind of rough shape, but as you can see right now, it's really soft and very fluffy. And I owe that to this Ava NYC therapy session hair mask. This hair mask is $15 for this fucking gigantic tub like, look at it compared to the size of my face. This is massive, and it's $15. It smells so good, and my hair is extremely soft. Like, you can just see the way it's behaving today. It's too busy being fluffy to behave, like, and this is damaged hair, but it's fluffy right now because I used this twice this week, and you guys, like, this mask brings life back to your hair. I swear to God, I literally just bleached the fuck out of my hair. I mistreated it. I, you know, whatever. This brings life back to your hair. And it is $15 for a 16.9 fluid ounce tub. That's a lot for a little price. So um, we sell this at Ulta. I think they also sell it at CVS. I don't care where you buy it. Just buy it. This hair mask is no joke, and the fact that I slept on it for so long, because it's just been, we've been selling this since, like, December. The packaging has changed recently, but it's still um, the same formula. Just, it's crazy. It's crazy that I slept on this for the quality product, for the fucking price. Just get this hair mask. If you have damaged hair, I promise it'll work. 
I, you know, <laughs> so that's my random hair mask that I'm throwing into this self tanning video because you know, whether you're waiting for your tan, you're shaving, whatever, just do a face mask, do a hair mask, do, do something else. Pam make it a whole pampering thing. Because to me, self-tanning, the whole process, it's very pampering because you have no choice but to like take your time and pay attention, whether it's the shaving part um, or just putting the mousse on and letting it sit. Like self-tanning, it's self-care. It's you know, even if you're doing it because you have to do it, like you have somewhere to be or something like the whole process, it's just, you have no choice, but to just pamper yourself a little bit. So anywho, <laughs> uh, just to run over all the products real quick. Um, I don't recommend the Jergens natural glow. I'm on the fence about the St. Tropez gradual tan. It's kind of whatever. Um, for shaving, the Tree Hut products, moisturizing shave oil and sugar scrub, big win right here. Definitely, definitely love these. Um, moisturizers, Lourish Bose, really any of their moisturizers are fantastic. I use the this one for my body. Um, the Cosarx Snail 92 Cream. Um, these are my moisturizing products. For self tanner, I highly recommend the brand St. Marie's. Um, like I said, I got mine in a really awesome gift set, but even if you end up buying them separately, it depends on which product works for you, but I highly recommend this brand at least. So check out this brand. Um, yeah. And then my random hair mask recommendation that I really recommend. Don't sleep on this like I did. Um, yeah. So that is my, uh, self tan, uh, products. Um, yeah. Happy spring, everybody. <laughs>